Hey guys and gals, let's build train by LEGO Creator. This is set number 30575, contains 59 bricks. So looks like we get to make a small choo-choo train, and I doubt that track is included. And it's one of these poly bags that I'm going to unbox, build, and review all in one sitting. <laughs> so it may make some good ASMR content. And let's see what we got in here. All right. Got a small folded instruction manual. Well, I don't feel like unfolding that right now. And now let's take a look at the bricks real quick. And as you can see, we do have... How many of these do we have here? Just one. It's a 2x4x2 uh, two by by two thirds plate with bow and oh transparent one by two brick we get two of those cool makes good block glass for mocks and such and some of these corner two by two plates one by four plates one of these little bell lampshade things <laughs> and a two by two plate with ball Oh, and we get two of these. Cool. You can use those for making a sofa, and those are dark blue, as well as this 2 by 3 plate. We got several of these, and yes, before anybody asks, it is early morning again. That's the only time I get to do these. So you do get a good significant amount of dark blue, like in 2 by 3 one by 3 plates, one of these 2 by 2 double bow bricks, uh, some Technic pins, studs, I'm starting to see more of these type of minifig holders. Starting to see a bunch of those. Anything else worth mentioning? Oh, that's just plain black. It's a 1x2 by 1x4 by by downwards angular plate. And some more 2x3s in red. Okay, I got one of these 2x2 two two round flat tiles that look like a jumper plate in dark blue and some of these train wheels. Oh, look, a black rim. Wish I can get more of those. And this little engine scoop piece. That's in black. And yeah, and I do sound very tired. So, looks like we do get ourselves a good assortment of parts. Yeah, oh, we get an upwards one by one by one by one angular plate. So yeah, a couple of these, another angular plate. All right, let's get building. Yes. My apologies for the camera angle. Um, you know, these are done impromptu. I don't plan them. I just set the camera up real quick and just start recording. Yeah, get that out of my way so I'll knock my noggin on it. And let's get going here. Now, the whole goal about these is to see what kind of parts there are in the set, which we've already done the unboxing. And now we're going to see about build quality. How's the build quality on this? Now, uh, there was already some drama on my other channel about this. You know, these are just my opinions. This is just stuff that I see. And, you know, reviews are just meant as entertainment. They're not meant to be construed as a professional product review. I just do this stuff for fun. So don't, you know, take it seriously. Uh, uh, well, I, some do. Just... Just enjoy the ride and we'll see where we go with this. Okay, so. And I am just caught up on all the sets that LEGO has sent me. Now I'm doing my personal stuff now. I need the space for parts. So this is the only way to really do it is, well, start putting things together and getting it done. Okay. Oh, I didn't mention this part here. Let me make sure I can keep it here so you can see what I'm doing. Now on my second channel, uh, these are actually pretty helpful for some builders who actually want to see how the build process is before, you know, buying the set or investing money into one. So, you know, I'm glad that these help out a bit. But I put it on here because this is a set that's under 50 or so pieces. Usually I go about, my limit, my max limit is about 100 target it's around 50. That's why this one's 59 and you know not too bad. 
we got to build the little choo-choo train. Just so later on we can rip it down for parts. Now, just by looking at the parts, a lot of this I'll probably will never use. You know, maybe maybe one percent of this build will probably be used. Not a bad thing. It's just a lot of these type of plates with stick and a bunch of these I really don't use. So they just kind of just go in my collection. You never know. Alrighty. Yeah, so a lot of things have been going on. You, you know, I, the thing about everything that's going on is I'm getting a lot of parts in my collection. It's finding the time to build stuff. You know, it's just trying to squeeze minutes here and there to build things. And I was going through a lot of the stuff that I've been doing. And I literally just have too many tutorials and mocks to share. I mean, literally, I think I had about maybe 60 new mocks. And still about maybe three or 400 tutorials that I still need to build and film. And no, <laughs> I'm not going to share those because, you know, sometimes, uh, well, we, you know, sadly in this community there's competition. There's people who like to snag ideas. And, well, I'm not going to leak those out. Nobody likes a spoiler, so I won't do that. If you're looking for leaks, well, you're probably on the wrong place anyways. But yeah, I got a lot of stuff. It's There's more projects that I can get that I need to build than there is time. Unless I retire right now and start doing YouTube full-time, but that's not going to happen. You know. Well, matches. <laughs> I could mess up so far. That's good. Very good. Now, someday, I don't know when it will happen, I'd like to build a full custom train. I have probably, <laughs> I have probably about 60% of the actual framing, and I think I may need to get upgrade my power functions a bit to make a train that's got more power and stuff. But the one thing that building a train would be uh, keeping everything lightweight and add a lot of detail. Because the more pieces you add, the heavier the train gets, and it will bog down your motor. And, you know, that's never good when they burn up. So, yeah, I do sound a bit tired. It's been a very rough week, and I'm just glad that it's done. That's so I can do more next week. You know, and I've had some people ask me, why don't I just do Lego full-time? Well, I have other obligations. Uh, take care of a family, paying bills, and all that stuff, so I can't just do that. <laughs> it'd be nice, but, yeah. I think, honestly, if this became a job, it'd be so boring. I said the same thing about computer programming, and I got into it as a job, and uh, it wasn't... It just, it ruined the flavor for me. Now it's just a job. Just like if I were to do this stuff full time, building all this stuff would just be a job. So it's just fun to poke around and dabble on something that doesn't require a computer or internet connection, except for sending these up to YouTube, of course, for you to enjoy. <laughs> you know. Alright, so we got two lights on this thing. Now I can always use these studs. Transparent and light blue, but this one's just got transparent. And this should be a very quick build. Now, I'm not into micro scaled stuff, but obviously, this would work good for maybe a micro city or uh, maybe putting it next to that Disney castle that, that I did. All right. OK, 
Okay, now we got to put all the wheels on here. These things are upside down. They're almost impossible for me to pick up. Wow, that's unusual. It shows the fancy rim side on the outside. Usually it shows the, shows the lug nuts. Well, we can't have those on there. Of course, you could do whatever you want. That's always a, a question that I get asked is, Jay, I don't have the parts to build your tutorial. What do I do? You just build it any way you can. With you know, A lot of these ideas that I have are just stuff that's from my imagination. I don't know what parts really I'm going to need until I'm done building it. And to keep everything very basic, what's considered a basic set of parts or common parts, I don't know. Everybody's Lego collection is different, so I have no clue. All right, so that's the train. And there's the parts, the leftover pieces. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's done. So now we're going to do our review. Okay, so first thing is, is it playable? Could you play with this? I mean, it's a micro scale, but I'm sure you could. Make a nice little look. You could use this in like a little theme park for maybe a, for like a little kitty ride or something. Pretty cool. Uh, what's the build quality like, you know? Except for this right here, it feels pretty sound. Doesn't look like it's going to break or anything. You know, is it scale for minifigures? Obviously not. Could it be dropped in a Lego city? You know, if you were, like I said, if you were to make it in a little theme park, this could be dropped in a city as is. You know, so this is pretty cool. And did it keep my interest? Yes, it did. I didn't get bored or tired of it and rage quit on this or anything like that, although I don't pretty simple. I don't think I need a rage quit. So, uh, do I recommend this for a builder? You know, any age builder is fine if you're heavy into trains. Yes, if you got a micro-build city, I'm sure that this may work. It may be a little too big. You could probably find a way to make that fit in there. Uh, but other than that, though, for me personally, would I recommend this set for an average Lego builder? If you're into the theme, yes. But for me personally, I'm not really a train guy. But if you want to upscale this, this is a good model to work from. So I would say, honestly, just for this being a poly bag, you know, it's, it's nice. And uh, yes, I did actually purchase this with my own money. Lego didn't send me that. So I'm even, I even say nice stuff about stuff even I get, too. But there's really nothing bad to say about it. There's no stickers. It was easy to put together. It wasn't boring. It was. It, it, it's basically what it is. It's a little micro-scaled train. 